Hey guys, Kyle here. Uh, today I'm going to be installing the uh, JDM armrest extension. Now this one differs from the uh, USD armrest extension. By all, well, let me show you. See this one? It's actually got a cubby hole. It's not just an extension. It raises up probably about four inches or so. And but this is an actual cubby hole compared to the USD one, where it's just a straight extension and it goes out. So, but uh, first I want to talk about uh, where I got it from. I got it from this website. It's called a SMY Performance. I'll put a link down in the description below along with like their Facebook page. But these guys were freaking awesome. The, the products that they have are awesome products. And um, like this seriously some of the best customer service I've ever had with any uh, online retailer. Uh, we had, uh, there, there was a, uh, a problem with the shipping because of uh, Subaru of Japan. They hadn't got them back in stock yet, so I had to wait uh, quite a long time. And I shot them an email that got back to me within about a day. And they kept me updated, even when I didn't ask them about it. They kept me informed and updated about what was going on. You know, they were like, you know, we're so sorry about this. You know, Subaru of Japan can't keep up with their orders sometimes. And, you know, things happen. But yeah, man, these guys are awesome. Uh, go check them out. Go buy some parts from them. I know I definitely will be. So you'll be seeing more videos of me with their products. But yeah, these guys are awesome. So uh, let's get to this install. All right, so on the instructions, well, let me just show you. They are all in Japanese. Go figure. So, but it looks like it says I need to pull down that back section, pull that towards me, and then I could take off the back plastic piece to get to the screws. So let's try that out, see what happens. So it looks like. Oh. Pull this out, perhaps. Oh, look at that. Screw right down there. Okay. I'm gonna have to find some way to set this camera up. Hopefully, it won't hit. does just come right off. Oh, that's nifty. Alright, to the top here there's three screws. That. <laughs> Alright, there's three, three screws. Man, this is... There we go. Alright, three screws. <laughs> Gonna take this out in order to pop off this lid. Three screws are out. The lid should just pop right off after you release it. Like so. There we go. Alright. Now this should slide right in. Gets locked down. Put that on, put your three screws back in. Uh, 
this screw back down here. Alright, so now on the top of this, there's only two screws. You can put back in. Two screws, on both on the far outside. And these things, the four screws it comes with, two are these flat ended ones, and then the other two are pokey ended ones. Uh, I want to be using the flat ended. I believe. Looks like this bottom plate screws into. Okay, that explains it. I did. You gotta put the top plate on first before you screw down the whole lid together so in order to get to these bottom screws or the holes for these screws. Aren't you glad I make these videos so you guys can see this before you install it so it doesn't take as long? <laughs> I mean, given five minutes isn't that long of a time, but it's kind of hot outside and I don't have any fans blowing in this garage. So I'm sweating a little bit. Alright, so here are these two holes are at down here on the bottom. Here and here. Take that cup top. What did I put it? Taking that top section, looks like you got feed it underneath. You're gonna lift up your lid a little bit, and it'll slide slide down in. Looks like it'll just snap on it. Ooh, look how pretty it is. You got two holes down the bottom. And that would explain why they gave you four screws. <laughs> I didn't see that in the instructions. Oh, I think it's because they're on the back side. That would explain it. Alright. Screw that down on end. Why don't us USD guys get this awesome JDM stuff? Why do they got to do that to us? Like just the other stock stuff that JDM cars get that we don't. Man, it sucks. <sighs> oh well. This is why we have people like the company SMY Performance. In order to get us these wonderful Japanese parts. So we can use in our USD cars. Take a look at it from the front. Looks like it does hang over a little bit. Let's see, my water bottle sits on it. Yeah, it impedes a little bit. I'm not too concerned because it seems like I've got better support here. So now, got top section and bottom section. Oh my gosh, I love it. Haha, -ha. sweet. Awesome. All right. There you have it, guys. The JDM armrest. Uh, go check out SMI Performance. Buy it from them. Have it ship it to you. Watch this install video. Well, I guess you're already watching it. Was making any sense? But yeah, install yourself. Have an extra cubby hold. So uh, I guess till next time, guys. Later.